Hi everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of Techtopia. As you can see, I've added in the chests and things up here. Uh, this is in the town hall, for those of you who haven't watched episode 1. Uh, by the way, make sure you go and watch episode 1. Um, I've put in the chest, so this one here has got my tools and uh, we'll have armour and things. Um, this one's got food. This one's got blocks and stuff. This one, oh, I might actually move this, the arrows into the tools and weapons chest. Um, this one's got all the the uh, the building tokens and item frames. And this one's got all of my valuable things. I've also got two furnaces here, a crafting table here with a flower pot on top. Um, I also feel like my sound is too loud so I'm just going to turn that down a little bit it keeps resetting for some reason so you have to let me know um, I feel like that's a bit better yeah so the first thing I want to do in this video oh, hello <laughs> we have a merchant two emeralds for some pumpkin pies I feel like we should get those so that once we build the storage room we can have our farmer here that we got in the last episode so that they can eat. So I've got two emeralds. Well, I've got four so if I take two then we can get some pumpkin pie for, what's her name? Remora? Yeah, for Remora to eat. There you go. So uh, as I said in the first episode, so the green Labels are villager items and the white ones are just things that I've done. So obviously I can only sell villager items to this merchant. Oh, we've also got a couple nomads out here. Um, this one was a miner. This one was a guard. And can I get to that one? That one was a teacher. Okay. Uh, we haven't got enough emeralds or anything to get some more, so <sighs> they can just stay there. They'll wander off at the end of the day. Oh, there's a table there. The first thing I do want to do in this episode is build a house for Remora. So I'm going to take some of these blocks and we can kind of decide what we want the house to look like. It will be along the same sort of, um, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. The same sort of design, um, same sort of style. Style, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, the same style as this town hall. Um, I've tried to make it not look like a chicken coop anymore, guys. <laughs> From the back it still kind of looks like a chicken coop, but it's okay. <laughs> We're just going to pretend that it doesn't. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop down a few trees and get to building Remora's house and I will be back once we're done. Right, so this is what the house is looking like so far. I really like it. So we've got this little... I don't know what you call this. Is this a porch? Kind of like entrance. Um, if I just take a little walk around, then it's looking pretty good. We've got kind of a little garden here. Thought that looked pretty. And then inside, again, we've got the same floor as we do over in the town hall to keep up with the theme. And as you can see, we have no roof. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Um, I kind of want to do it, oh, I don't know, I don't even know how I want to do the roof to be honest, I think maybe, I don't know, let's make <laughs> those um, into stairs, or do we want a half slab roof? Hmm. Maybe we go with a half slab roof. We could do that. If I kind of 
see if I, let me build up an arch at the front and see if we can get a shape and then we'll decide. Mm, yeah, I think it could work. Let's see if we can make this work then. Uh, we have got a weird sort of smaller bit this end so I'm not too sure what we'll do with that but I suppose we'll <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it guys we've finished the house so we're just gonna grab an item frame and a home two token because that's how many beds I'll be putting in there and then we need to grab like I said we've got enough wool to make beds for like decades <laughs> there you go if we can get two beds in here and let's just see if we've got anything else to kind of decorate with um let's grab a few of those and make some let's make some flower pots let's grab this sand out because we're not going to need that we'll use this this is what the house looks like guys i really like it i'll just give you a little walk around to show you what it looks like all of the windows are all too high and we've got some bushes and flowers to decorate the place and like i said we've got this little garden on the back and the porch on the front so i'm gonna decorate inside we need to finish doing the roof the ceiling quick so let's just do that and then we'll put in some torches i'm hoping that i have enough wood to do this i should do oh yeah definitely i've got more than enough there we go um we need some torches in here so if we put one there there maybe over there as well Let's just do those ones and have a little look at the light levels. This should be all good. Yep, perfect. There's no sevens in there. So that is enough torches. I bought a few things over with me from the town hall to decorate with. We are going to leave this crafting table here. Everything here we have so what I'm gonna do is place down the white beds first I think we're gonna put one I don't know there and the other one could go here or should I move it over a little no I think it can go there one there and then the other one over there, that looks okay. No, 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 we'll put it there, we'll put it there. <laughs> because then they've got enough room to come in and... Yeah. I know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> we'll put... We've got a couple chairs, so we'll pop one there and maybe one here. And some bookshelves, so that can go there. We'll have a couple there, one here. And we also have some flower pots, so we want to add those in places to make them look not crowded, if that makes sense. And we could just pop one here, I suppose. Let's put a yellow flower in that one as well. I like this. So we can't actually put carpet or anything on the floor because then it makes it so it's not valid housing, I believe. It doesn't, but it doesn't count the carpet blocks as blocks for the housing, so it'll only be the ones around the carpet, if that makes sense. So valid housing, it's only scanned from the level of the door. But I think that's okay how it is, and I think they've got enough room so it prevents overcrowding. And now we can just pop the token outside, I think I'm going to put it this side. And once I put this in, these two beds should turn yellow, hopefully. There we go. So, as you saw, they were both yellow. This one is now green, meaning 
that my villager, Ramora, the farmer, she has claimed it. So she now lives here. And this bed is yellow because it's a valid bed, but it's not been claimed. Um, it's If we see any red beds, that's what um, is a cause for concern because the red beds mean it's not a valid housing. So there are, are one million nomads off. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Bye! Bye guys! They're like a little llama convoy. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy we've got one house in. One house? One house. I can speak English. So where is Remora? Where's she gone? I've lost her. Is she in that? Oh no, she's in the house. When did she walk over there? She must have walked behind me when I was saying bye to the nomads. So there we go. This is Remora's house. Remora Moonridge. She can't seem to decide what chair she wants to sit in. Um, her happiness should be better now. Um, so this one here is intelligence, happiness, hunger and health. So we need to keep an eye on those and hopefully it's all good. I need to go and sleep. So let's go back to my bed. Which I want to make my bed a different colour at some point. I'm not too sure what colour. These guys like making really weird noises <laughs> every time I walk in. Oh yeah, a couple of nomads failed to find a way to the village. That was interesting. Okay, so we actually have a name for this little village as well. The name I chose was suggested by Defence401 on YouTube. They suggested the Honeyed Hamlet and I love that name so at some point we will be making a uh, like a welcome sign sort of thing letting everybody know even though it's only just me on this world <laughs> letting all the nomads that come to this village know that this place is called the Honeyed Hamlet oh there we go we found a bit of iron oh two pieces that's helpful why can I hear a pig I'm underground Ah, more iron. One. Just one. <laughs> okay, we have enough to make another axe, I suppose. Guys, look at this. We need to go and explore that at some point. Um, and just for reference of where I am, <laughs> I did not know this was here. Like, at all. <laughs> ah! No. <laughs> Guys, we've gone on an impromptu mining trip because I ran out of iron. So we've gone down that pit of death. And by the way, that pit of death has a, another pit of death inside the pit of death. gonna die. There's a mine shaft here. I should not be down here. How far down am I? 18. Ooh, I want to go find some diamonds. I know I said I don't want to be down here, but I don't. But I need diamonds and I want stuff. So we've gone them impromptu mining trip. <laughs> uh, I thought I had a skeleton. Sorry for all the weird no noises, guys. Um, I'm terrified because I have no armor and I don't want to die. I'm glad I've come down here, though. No, 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 no,
kill you. You heard for that. No. No. <laughs> Guys, this episode is not going well. First off, I nearly jumped into that same pit of lava again earlier. Um, secondly, I nearly die from a creeper and have a heart attack. And thirdly, my only villager died. And now I'm back to the start with no villagers. And I don't even have enough emeralds to buy a token from the tradesman to make a nomad into another farmer. So we're going to have to sort that out at some point, aren't we? And yet yeah, now I also put all of that wood in the wrong place. So yeah, just not going well. <laughs> not going well at all. So I'm going to see how far I can get doing this. And then like see how <laughs> see how far I can get building this storage room without having a mental breakdown. And then I think we're gonna uh, call it an end on this episode. So let me see how far I get with this and I will show you once I'm done. Alright then, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Um, it's annoying me that I can see loads of nomads walking around behind me in the background, but I have only two emeralds left because obviously I bought those uh, pumpkin pies for Remora, but she has sadly, like, died because she's an idiot and can't go into her house when a zombie attacks her. Um, I need to get some guards, I need to get some more villagers, I'm going to go mining for emeralds off camera <laughs> and maybe see if I can find some other villagers, get some more emeralds, I'm not too sure, uh, but yeah, we'll see what we can do about the villager situation. So I need more emeralds to be able to get more villagers to turn the uh, the nomad guys into villagers with the tokens from the tradesmen. That made no sense. <laughs> anyway, this is the storage room. Not complete, obviously, as you can see, but this is kind of my idea for it. I'm going to move this inside. It is not going to stay there, but I need to finish the floor. Um, but this is kind of the size of it. Let me know what you think. Oh, I am going to put some railings along here so my villagers don't, you know, just jump off. Uh, let me know what you think. One about uh, the little house, which is now unoccupied. Why are you here still? Shouldn't you be going home? It's night time. <laughs> Anyway, let me know what you think about the house, which is now unoccupied, and also let me know what you think about the storage room so far. You can kind of imagine it will have a roof up like that, uh, or maybe it will have a flat roof similar to this one. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll kind of cross that road when we come to it. Let me know what you think we could do under here, guys, uh, if anything. Obviously, like I said, I want to add some streams and things around, so maybe we can intertwine some down here. Yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts, and I'm going to go off to bed while I finish this intro. <laughs> let me know your thoughts on the house and the storage room so far. That's depressing to look at. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this video, though. And if you have, then don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe. Go and subscribe to my second channel as well. All the links to my second channel and all my social media and my Discord server will all be in the description for you. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!